of a scenario was the military looking at. War between ruling party Senator Joker Arroyo and opposition Senator Edgardo Angara took a turn for the worse. But Linda Ovilla reports the two have managed to patch up their differences. But it's so nice to see you, uh, I'm sure, after having been with you the past uh, yeah. few days. Uh -huh. But what is it that you want to tell the people now about what you're going to But traffic is in there. Where did you come from? She is one who really will tell everything. Uh, studies and everything. I observe Tina is a very good leader. When she speaks, she tells all her ideas. But you will notice that in a very simple way, you can understand what she says and express but of course, Tina's uh, her excellence is in uh, her passion is really in uh, in the in the stage. Normal na estudiante, very caring. One thing uh, na hanggang ngayon carried pa rin niya, Si Tina is very humble. She's very humble. Uh, ang yun ang hanggang ngayon I think uh, that's in her na salbaw sabi niya meron siya ginawa for somebody or anything. Asabi niya wag mo sa sabi na ako yung nagpagawa nun. Paano ako napasok sa media? Ako po ay isang elementary student noon at nanapansin ako ng isang, isang madre na tiga Ireland na ako ay marunong uh, magsalita ng Ingles na tama naman ang diction. So parang ginawa niya akong protege. Uh, tinuruan niya ako ng poetry, ng or oratory, ng declamation, ng impromptu and even going to the extent of uh, training me for stage, theater, and speech, and drama. Eh. So, doon ang naging umpisa ko sa paaralan. Uh, during college, nag-break ano, nag ako during the uh, semestral break to audition to become a radio announcer. So, doon talaga, professional na. I was going to be paid to do some board work that we would call for like two hours during summer because I was off from school, and I would get paid 120 pesos a month. And in St. Scholastica's College, I was the vice president of the student council in 1972 or 1971. So dun kami, dun ko na, namulat ako sa isang uri ng activism uh, to look after the welfare of farmers. They gave me beats. But early on in, DC, in Manila Times, I was already doing police report as a startup to a reporter. We had a night shift in the, in the uh, police precinto. When I was doing radio, I was doing radio news because I wanted to train to be a reporter, so they would put me in police beats. So I remember Satundo and then the, the, the chief of police, there was such a gorgeous looking guy. You know? So... So, and then I went to Channel 7, I stayed there, and then they gave me, slowly they, they made me take on some managerial tasks. I was the, the girl, parang I was the news prod, I was the news admin. I would take care of the cameramen, I would look after their futures and their assignments, and made sure that there was a cameraman, a reporter, and I would have to, to make use of three vehicles, for like 10 reporters as a magician. So Sitina and I and a few of the others who would then see each other also for all, side, all kinds of reasons. Nung pumutok na ang sarag tawag namin after 1983 na nagbukas na talaga may parliament of the streets na Tina was still anchor at GMA7. And of course, things were still controlled. It was controlled until people power in 1986. Yung mga nanonood kay Tina, nakikita nila ang sinasabi ni Tina, official news. Pero nakikita mo sa kanyang mukha ang unofficial version. It's a friendship that goes back to the 70s. So matagal na matagal na kami magkaibigan. We discovered that we liked each other. And so yung ginagawa ko sa TV Times at yung kanya namang trabaho sa 
Phoebe as an anchor brought us together probably in a way that most friendships can't grow, that we both had the professional link, pareho kaming nagtratrabawa doon sa media. At then, natutunan din namin na marami kaming nadiscovery that we shared. Eventually, our friendship was joined with other women journalists at the time. Um, maalala ninyo, this was a period of political ferment. Nag-uumpisa ng tingnan ng media kung ano talagang nangyayari sa bayan under a long-term dictatorship. Yung one-man rule, one party. Na ang media hindi nag-question. Kaya nga TV Times yung ginagawa ko ng umpisa dahil yung TV, maaari namin batikusin na walang nagagalit. At ang sabi pa nga ng mga TV executives, kami lang naman ang kaya ninyong tirahin. But I thought looking at television and the development of this really powerful and dynamic medium, sa akin, mahalaga ito na mapagsama-sama natin yung mga iba-ibang points of view na kung ito nga bang ginagawa sa television, ito yung tamang gawin. Ay, ako nabubuhay ako sa, ano, sa gulo. I mean, I think I was meant I, my, my, my persona or my, my, my training has been one to deal with crisis. And the decisiveness that I get, that I do, is something that sometimes can be found. I told you I was reckless, diba? but well thought of. Naman. The instincts sometimes are just so are just so clear to me, even my instinctive reaction to a story, well, always grounded na, totoo naman itong ginagawa ko eh. It was, it was the truth. So I did not at all have to be challenged. You do not have to tell me na, hindi tama yung ginagawa mo. Pa, paano mo sasabihin hindi tama? Ay, ako cover You know one thing she hates? She hates it when people come up to her saying, Ma'am Tina, bata pa lang po ako, pinapanood na kita. She hates it. It makes her feel old. But, um, but that's her greatest contribution, her life work. She dedicated her life to this industry, to being a responsible journalist, to being someone who's not afraid to stand up for the truth. Sabi ko, tatanungin ko na ito. Sabi ko, so nakaganoon yung kamay niya sa mesa? So nandito ako sa kaliwa niya eh. So nakikita ko yung kamay. Sabi ko, sir, sabi ko, malapit na malapit ho, malapit na malapit ho ako sa'yo. Nakikita ko yung ano niyo. Marami hong mga needle marks. Meron na naman siyang sinabi. Ang dami na namin. Hindi, in, meron ho ba kayong sakit? Ano ho ba ang... Ang, ang sakit nyo. So he was, she was evasive, of course. He's a masterful mastery of evasion, di ba? So hindi niya sinagot. But that was the time he was always having uh, blood transfusion, if you may say it. So it ended there. And I remember, I, when I went back to the office, I did not realize how, I don't know how you rephrase, how, how they were telling me, Ang tapang mo, natanong mo. So I would always dismiss it and not engage in, in a debate of why I did it, did I do it for the country. It was just a simple situation where there was a man who was being president and being carried and was rumored to be sick and was not showing himself to the public. And here is a guy who says that he's not sick for the second time and had needle talagang bugbug. Everyone in broadcast news wanted to be a Tina Monzon Palma. Ganun yung image niya. Superstar siya talaga. Legend in her own time, sabi niya. I wouldn't listen to anyone. Call the reporter. I would call the reporter. Oh, ano ito? Saan ito? Sino nagsabi nito? In fact, I, I even had a running joke. Every time I would feel na merong, merong konting lagayan dun sa mga story, ah. So usually, mga ribbon cutting yan eh, di ba? Ribbon cutting. Wala naman kasaysay-saysay, di ba? So alas tres yung three o'clock habit ko. At alas tres na, ha? Sabi ko, pag wala yung mga two-way radio eh, wala yung mga radio nyo, hindi kay kasali. I think what was hard for Tina at the time 
what I imagined to be difficult was that she was the head of the news organization and she was also its anchor. So parang it's a hard thing by itself to anchor and to be the face of the organization. Diba? Mahirap na yun eh. Kasi lalo na kung may threat, diba? Ikaw ang mukha eh. Tapos ikaw pang boss, mahirap yun. Diba na i-balance mo, saan ka ba? Anong, pag nagkamali, kunyari magkamali ka sa broadcast, which, which happens, diba? Magkamali ka and you have to like do an eratum or do an apology. Ikaw yun mismo, ikaw nag apologize Kasi ikaw, kayo yun eh. Tapos ikaw rin yung mukha. So I think it was hard to to juggle that. Ito yung safety na yun, nakakatatlo ko na. Okay lang, game, game, game. Let's, let's, no, 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 I want to do it better. Para siyang tiger mom, hindi siya, hindi, yung um, pagkakakilala ko sa kanya, wala akong, hindi siya, hindi kanya ibibaby, hindi siya ganong tipong mentor, hindi siya ganon. That's just not her way. I think yun din ang style niya because she was really very cowboy eh. Uh, she's, she's informal, hindi siya yung uh, maraming formality sa buhay, hindi siya ganun eh. Siya parang no-nonsense. So even the way trinato niya kami, very no-nonsense. Um, wala siya nung mga ibibreak sa'yo gently or ano. Basta pagkailangan mong gawin, gawin mo. Talagang medyo hara, ano yun? Kailangan eh. Kailangan siyang gawin. So yun, may, may pagka-tiger mom talaga. You have to really find your way. So that was what the kind of boss she was. She was the boss who taught you that it's never acceptable not to know. You have to find your way. That's Tina. A -a ako, when I see someone get into the team, titignan ko kung hanggang saan ang kaya niya. I will, I will talk to you, I will befriend you, we will, we will talk to each other like buddies, I will be nice, I will not be a boss to you. But when I am boss, you better listen. Because I will not waste time. And the reason why they say, because I tormented them, because I was wasting time, not wasting time, I was giving them time. If I did not bother with you, that means you're nothing in terms of dealing with the dilemmas of life, the questions that force you to answer, where are you, where do you stand? She very carefully thinks about the decisions that she makes. And it, I think I've seen her really feel the pain of having to resign from GMA7, when she mistakenly read news that was fed to her that pre-announced, prematurely rather, announced the death of Maureen Haltman. Ano ka eh? You, boss ka? You're the senior vice president and you are the, the, the anchor, okay? So we were on the air Meron kaming teleprompter, di ba? So, magko-closing na ako sa teleprompter. May nag-break. Breaking news. Haltman is dead. So, nag-pause ako ng sandali. Si Chechi ang katabi ko at saka si Leslie Espino. Pause ako sandali. Sabi ko, hindi naman. Sa training namin, hindi ito ilalagay hanggang kon hanggang dinet, di ba? Tatlo eh. So, okay na ako. Sabi ko, buti na lang hindi ako nag-drama-drama. We, ano, ganun. Sabi ko, I just shut up and said good night. And isa isa ko na ito nangyari. Nakita ko na lang nag, nag flash. Sabi ko ganon pero, you know, I am very sorry for whatever it may cost the network and the credibility and the mga ganon klasing. I am submitting my irrevocable resignation. Irrevocable. I left. I never showed my face to Channel Seven. And the following morning, I had gone to see her and she said, I've resigned. I'm not going back there. I read it as a sign that I'm, I am not sure that how that could have happened. And I trusted the person who gave me that news and I cannot go back. And for a while I said, well, what are you going to do then? And she said, well, if I don't do anything, then I don't do anything. When my husband was telling me, so niya, why did you quit? And I really hated him for that. But we have this love-hate, but I love him very much. He passed away. Na. So sabi mo, alam mo, 
Sabi niya, sa edad mo niya, wala nang kukuha ang tao sa'yo. Wala na daw mag-hire sa akin. Hindi na ko na. Walang mag-hire sa akin. So, galit na galit ako. Talaga, do- nakaupo lang ako doon. Nakaganan ako. No TV. No sound of TV. I would turn, I'd go to the room of my children. I had three boys. Turn it off. I don't want to hear TV. Isa si uh, Tina Monson Palma, si Ginang Tina Monson Palma, na na talakay ng mga diskusyon tungkol sa climate change at ang relasyon nito doon sa mga harsh impacts ng natural hazards. Marami siyang mga ginawa ng mga episodes at interviews na kasama ako doon, kasama yung kanyang programa na Talkback. No? Ang isa sa maganda doon sa mga pag-interview ni Tina Monson Palma ay isa siya doon sa mga kapag nag-interview ay nakikinig siya. At dahil nakikinig siya, nararamdaman nung ini-interview at lumalabas lalo yung mga gustong sabihin nung tinatanungan. What is needed now draws from the strength that Tina brought to her job. That one, she resigned when she read something that was just so disturbing for the people who were affected, that it was not right, it was not correct, it was not true. And she was ready to pay for that. Where are you going to find that in this day and age? So from mainstream, na ngayon, inaatake nga dahil pinintanas sila na sila yung binabayaran, na wala silang ginagawa kung hindi para sa kanila lamang. When mainstream media is attacked, then we have to look for those champions that basically set up those models. And there are many in the history of broadcast journalism as well as in print journalism. And we must begin to draw that out. And so Tina's story is a great story, but let us be thankful also that it is not a story alone by itself. And Tina will be the first to name the people that she's worked with who basically also earned her respect because they were as dedicated as she was. Paano mo lalabanan ng fake news? Magkaroon ng mga journalists na gaya ni Tina. Magkaroon ng anchors, news personalities na hindi naguguluhan dahil napakalaki na ng kanilang level of celebrity. Kasi yun din ang isang model ni Tina. She was indeed a celebrity but it never went into her head. And she behaved as much as she could, protected her privacy, protected her personal life, and basically put a line as to how much of her the public could get. The transformation of our society and the progress of our country is wasted if we do not put the child at the center of our nation's life. That's the world tonight. I would like to personally thank the University of the Philippines, Gawad Plaridel, for this special recognition.